some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Port Angeles, uh, Washington, where a uh, frauditor is attempting to audit the local uh, Peninsula Behavioral Health Clinic, but he finds himself getting trespassed. Yeah, HIPAA and uh, privacy and everything of that nature mean nothing to these frauditors. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I was thinking the other day, wow, so many people in the comments sections call me crazy, sent mentally ill, on drugs, they say, all this kind of stuff. So I don't know, maybe they're onto something. Yeah, I can see where those commenters come from because I do believe there's a distinct possibility that a great many uh, frauditors are indeed mentally ill in one form or another. I mean, take, take Chile de Castro. I mean, he's obviously, well, completely uh, off his rocker if he actually thinks that he'll be a governor one day. I mean, come on now, dude, you're 50 years old and still a big zero in life, dude. You're not that important. But I digress. I mean, yeah, I mean, people like Chile, definitely mentally ill. But... Do you? I will have to see about that. My wife was telling me the other day, she goes, you know, Kurt, crazy people don't know they're crazy. So she might be onto something there. So we'll go ahead and check it out. We'll be getting some brochures today. Kind of see what services they have to offer. Um, we'll go from there. So. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, a little lesson in editing. Don't do these sudden jump cuts like that. It's very jarring. I'm going to repeat the last few seconds and uh, show you how it's actually supposed to be done. That way, uh, your videos will be a bit better. Flashback. Um, we'll go from there, so... There, I fixed your bad transition. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just uh, documenting what information you guys provide, picking up some pamphlets okay. for some people. Because this is a medical office, we'd appreciate it if you not take photos in the office. I'll try to keep everyone off of it. Okay. We'd appreciate yeah. it if you not take photos like, in the I, office. Like, I went over to the, that's your children's services over there? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Is that, I went in there, I realized it was children's services, came over here, I thought it was in the adult section. What's your I, name, please? My name's Kurt. Uh-huh. Who are you? Uh, my name's Sarah. Okay, hi, Sarah. So... Please don't take photos in our lobby. I'll keep people off them, you please, know, and please, sir. I'll try to keep people off. Oh, you're trying to keep people off of it? Uh, well, you're doing a very piss poor job of it right there, frauditor. Yeah, so you may want to try a bit harder. Yeah, like uh, with your editing, you need to get more professional, better skills and all that. Especially when uh, you don't know the laws about trespassing or HIPAA or anything like that. I would um, really appreciate it if you not take photos in the lobby. I'll be out of here pretty quick, okay? I'm going to have to ask fast. you to leave if you're taking photos in our lobby. Man, this is a public agency. Well, it's a, it's a non-profit 501c yes. that you guys right. receive public funding, which means anybody can come in here with a camera and take photos. I'm just getting some information. Yeah, I'm going to need a citation on that, uh, dude, because, well, you would have HIPAA and everything like that involved here because this is a medical type of facility. I mean, you're providing part of a citation with the uh, 51C, but you're not providing a complete picture of it. So, yeah, provide the exact location within the 51C that says that you can take pictures within the building and violate HIPAA laws. I mean, that part would be uh, beneficial right there. For some other people that can't We're travel down here. With right, and I've got some right here. I've been grabbing them as I see them. Feel free to take brochures, but please don't take photos in our lobby. I'll be real quick, okay? I'll just be in here 20 minutes, maybe. Please that's don't it. Ma'am, Sarah, uh, it's a, I have every right under the First Amendment to come in and do this. I'm just getting information for some people, and I'll be out of here. I'm going okay. to call our CEO and verify that this is something that you're oh, able to absolutely. do. Absolutely. Please don't take any photos. Man, I'll, like I said, I'll keep people off. I'll just get some. I'll, I'll get some photos of the documents you guys have and grab some brochures. Thank you. Sir, please don't take any photos. 
Okay, so you got some contact information here. If you need help, food banks, things like that, there's their phone numbers. Dude, that information is readily available on the internet at any given time. There's no need to come in here and harass these people like the complete and total ignoramus you are. Let's see. Okay, so let's check with our CEO. Yes. And we're not, we're, I'm correct. Please don't take photos in our lot. Um, this is a public agency. Anybody, I'm, anybody can come in with a camera, document their services here, get information for the public, and disseminate it. You're welcome to pick up brochures, but right. if you take any more photos in the lobby, I'm going to need you to leave. Ma'am, it's you're asking me to do something that violates my First Amendment rights. Uh, nope, uh, your First Amendment rights are not being violated, considering that this is an establishment that does have the right to trespass you via the Tenth Amendment. I mean, come on now, dude. Uh, just because you claim to be a member of the press doesn't mean you're, you're exempt from the laws. I mean, that much is for certain. So I can call the police if you would like me to? Right, and what they're going to tell you is the same thing I just told you. They'll say he has First Amendment right to come in and videotape and photograph, and then that'll be it. Like I said, I'm only going to be in here maybe 20 minutes at the most. So can you please come this way and exit the agency? <laughs> Ma'am, can you imagine if another adult came up to you and told you to leave a public building? What would you think? Well, first of all, uh, you are not an adult. You are a gigantic man-child who thinks that, uh, well, the world owes him something because he fell for this mistaken belief that the First Amendment is a protection against being trespassed from any place on Earth. Well, dude, like you just said in your text up there, you were completely wrong about that, which it is not a violation of the First Amendment, you freaking blockhead. I mean, really. This is honest. a medical officer, and this is the rules that we have here. If you would like me to call the police to have him escorted off, like I like I said, well, if you call the police, they'll just tell you I have every right to be in here, and maybe they'll educate you, and that'll be it. Like I said, okay. I'll be in here maybe fifteen minutes more, I and I'll be getting out of here. And that's fine. I don't. I don't. <laughs> man, it seems like a waste of nine one resources, but okay, guys. So there you go. A little longer than a few minutes later. Are you filming, sir? Yes, I am. Please turn that off. I just want to ask you. I just want to ask questions. Are they coming down, ma'am or sir? Randy, you, you got me on the camera. And I don't have my permission to be on there. Sir, uh, you're in a public agency, but I'll keep you off. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, I will. You know exactly what you're doing. Okay. You have a lot of time on your hands. Pretty sad. Well, sir. <laughs> I'm coming in to get information for people who can't come in Thank by you. themselves, either wheelchairs or blind, stuff like that, okay. and I disseminate the information to them. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Uh, you say you know what you're doing, but you clearly put this guy on the camera when he asked not to be filmed, and you said you weren't going to do it. So you know what that makes you? It makes you a no-good, downright, low-life scumbag a giblet head of a frauditor who, uh, well, doesn't give a damn about anybody else but himself. I would use harsher words, but uh, YouTube might end up banning this video. So, yeah, I don't want that to happen. Sir, please turn the camera off. Ma'am, I'm just finding out what they're going to say. Yes, you're standing in front of me filming in the medical lobby. One one eight East Eighth Street. It's the main lobby at Peninsula Behavioral Health. He said his name is Kurt. What's going on? Just a moment. I'm calling the non-emergency line. I'm trying to. Okay, guys. Let's so call the non-emergency line. That's good. We don't want to waste nine one one resources or something as unnecessary as this. Five minutes later. Uh, Sarah, ma'am, are you the director here? Are you the top no, person here? No, not. Okay, I'm just asking. Not the director. Are you assistant supervisor then? I'm just asking. Because I don't even know who. You... This is a designated crisis responder. Okay, I don't know who you are, and you're giving me directives. 
I, I'm sorry, sir. We're responding to him to you right now being in our lobby. It's important that we keep our lobby safe and private for people. Ma'am, I have no ill intentions. I'm just here gathering information. Um, Please turn off your camera. You ma'am. have permission to film in this area. As far as HIPAA, as far business, as HIPAA laws go, ma'am. don't have the, ma the permission to film in this organization, sir. Okay, ma'am, this is a publicly accessible organization. You guys receive federal and state funding. I understand you're a 501c or 503c organization, but you receive federal and state funding, which immediately by law makes us publicly accessible. Anybody can come in here. I'm just documenting my visit. Uh, there's nothing nefarious about it. There's nothing illegal about it or against the law. Hey, Frauditor, I would also advise you to be wary of uh, Washington State's two-party consent laws when it comes to... Uh, uh, recording any conversations that might get you in the end like it has other frauditors so yeah you may want to watch your step on that one but of course uh, i'm probably talking to a wall right now anyway so if you want to go ahead and uh f around and find out one day you'll find out you'll most definitely find out as far as the hip information I'll try not to catch anything on your screens, but the onus is on you guys to protect that private information of your patients. And you're absolutely positively correct on that, which is why they're going to use this trespassing law to get your sorry ass out that door. And, uh, well, you, I know you won't be happy about it, but who cares about what you think? What matters is is the confidentiality of the patients that you are trying to violate. Okay guys, so you can see the Port Angeles police have shown up. They're right there, they just pulled in the parking lot. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. He's taking his time. We just don't want our our clients have a right to privacy. And have to for mental health services. Okay. So they, I didn't, I didn't. Oh yeah, personally, the privacy within the use. Gary Kurt. Yeah. How you doing? Hey, I'm Jason. What's your last name, Kurt? Uh, I'm not going to give that out today. Okay. Uh, but right. I give, I give my first name. I got, I'm done to hide. That's fine. How you doing? What's your uh, Hooper? Yep. Four eight nine. Thank you, sir. Yeah. If you don't have anything to hide. How come you don't want to tell me your last name? Uh, as a rule of thumb, I don't identify myself to anyone who asks. Just, uh, but my first name is Kurt. Just being cordial. Yeah, no thank worries. you. Appreciate thank it. you, sir. Can you, do you want to talk about what's going on here? No, I, I'm just going to go and listen to what they say. Thank you, though. Uh, yeah, it's not okay for folks to be filming stuff in our lobby or taking photos for privacy purposes. It's not part of our business. Okay. And we need to have permission for people to come in and take photographs in our lobby. I checked with our CEO, she says this is not allowed, so what do we have to do with the customer in the times? And so I told him to help this out to get him just to move on. If he's seeking services, that's fine, but we don't allow our clients to be filmed without their consent. Okay. So am I understanding that if he's seeking services, he's welcome to come in and if not he's, film? Absolutely. If he's and if he's not, that's from the problem? Yes, I do. Uh, dude, it's not about the camera. It's about HIPAA violations and the person behind the camera who is uh, trying to violate those uh, uh, regulations and the uh, point of uh, trying to record conversations as well, which might be a key factor should this ever end up in a courtroom, and a good prosecutor uses it to his advantage. I mean, that kind of thing, you know? Okay. How you doing, Sergeant? Good. Uh, it, how's, how's your last name spelled there? Rife. R-I-F-E. Rife. I like it. Yeah. All right. Badge number? Four, uh, 227. Thank you, sir. Right there on there. Thank you. So, are you seeking services, Kurt? Yes, I am. I'm uh, getting brochures. I've been picking them up. I'm also videotaping the walls inside so I can disseminate the information to others who can't come in easily, blind people, disabled people, stuff like that. Well, they're asking you not to videotape. They're right. saying that's a HIPAA violation. It's, so, if you're uh, here, let me speak. Absolutely. Go if ahead. You're here for service. Uh, yeah, citation needed for that, please, because I have not ever seen it in any trespassing laws at all 
in all the time that I've been exposing you morons. So here's a thought, something that uh, you really should try. Why don't you try putting your money where your mouth is and actually, like I said, put citations on the screen, put the actual codes down that uh, you say back your uh, arguments up, and uh, that way uh, you can be a little bit more legitimate. But you're not going to do that because these uh, codes that you claim to exist don't actually exist now, do they? You're welcome to stay. If you're not, right. they want you to leave. Right. Uh, the way this works is this is a public, publicly accessible building. They receive federal and state funding. Any member of the public can come in off the street, right. request information, request right. services. They can, also, they can also ask us to tell you to leave. Only if I've committed a crime while inside the building. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> right, so. We are asking that he not be allowed on premise if he's going to film or take um, photographs inside our lobby. We're happy to provide all the brochures. Hey, you stay over there with my partner. Oh, sir, I, I can walk around and free it as a public parking lot. Stay over there with I'm partner. just walking around, buddy. <laughs> if you don't do as I say, we're What's gonna up? detain you. Okay. So stay over there with my parking. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm in a parking lot here. I can walk around. Okay. If, if you keep following me around while I'm trying to do my business, it's obstructing. Uh, sir, I'm obstructing is a physical act. I'm, I'm, no, it's clear, I'm clearly, in the state of Washington, it is. I'm oh, really now? Well, according to uh, this Washington state statute right here, you are completely full of shit. Clearly 10 feet away from you, Sergeant. So... Um, are you here to seek services? Yes, I am. I'm here to get brochures. I might go ahead and file a FOIA request. I might file a complaint. Now they called the police on me, so I absolutely have the right to come in and, and utilize that those services. I yeah. understand. Um, I don't think they have an issue with that. I think what they have an issue with is the recording. Right, right? which would be, because that's the issue they have, that'd be an immediate violation of my First Amendment rights. And you guys, when you arrive on scene, you have to follow the law. You can't go by their rules or regulations. You can only enforce the law. And I'm not breaking any law. So, Kurt, you've broken no laws, okay? Uh, HIPAA, uh, two-party consent violation, maybe, uh, trespassing. Yeah, the list can go on and on, dude. I mean, you are just a law-breaking machine at this point. If, if someone was in your yard and you wanted them trespassed, That'd be private property. This is a public agency. Well, it's publicly it is, accessible. Some of it is, is yeah. they have they have an issue with apparently protecting the rights of privilege. Right, of and I'm clients. intentionally not filming onto their screens. I haven't told them. I give them an opportunity to flip anything over, point the screens away. I the, the way the HIPAA laws operate is, since I'm not HIPAA certified, they are HIPAA certified. It only falls on them. The onus is for them to protect any information. I, yeah. My concern, though, is that they. It's the same as like if you are. It is private property, right? But no, no. you, as the not this, the, but right? Your, your house. Yeah. They have. Just I, as you I, would, the right well, to, to not let someone on the property. They don't because uh, private property is your home and the laws are very different for that. Well, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. You have an expectation of privacy in your home. You don't have an ex expectation of privacy in a public building. It, they're two, two totally different this things. Is, no, this I understand. Is their this is where they, this is it, their... It, but it's a public agency. As you can see, I'm getting brochures. I'm getting I'm not, information from I'm them. I'm arguing with why you're here. Right. Or even your legality to be here. So, so, you, so you are saying, though, I am legal to be no, doing I'm this. No, I'm not saying. I'm saying that, yeah, you as a as a person seeking services. Sure. Right. But up, when you start violating whatever their rules might be, then it, that's when they but to make a rule or regulation or anything like that to say a person can't come and film violates the First Amendment, and that's a law, and you guys are law enforcement officers, you, you can only enforce laws, not any rules or regulations inside a public agency. The only way you guys could trespass me from this building today... You have enough information right this gentleman to trespass Yeah. Okay, if you do write me that, we'll be heading to the police department next. You guys know that's an illegal trespass, right? Illegal, 100%. They've asked you... It doesn't matter. Place. You're the law enforcement officer. You have to know that that's an illegal trespass. Are you going to leave the premises once we... Do this? If you well, as long as I'm not legally trespassed, I'll go in for a couple minutes, and then I'll take off. No, they don't want you back in. Well, then you're gonna have to write me a trespass, but it's illegal. I'll be going right to the police department, filing complaints against both you guys. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. So you're saying if you're I go back, if you say I go back in, I'll be arrested. Yeah. Okay. Under the threat of arrest, right. I won't be going back in. Right now, 
We're gonna write you a trespass acknowledgement. It's gonna be for one year. Well, hold on. <clears throat> I'm standing outside. You can't trespass me. I'm not inside right You're now. On the premises. No, I'm in a public parking lot. This sir, this parking lot services yeah, that we building can go and this and building. On this all right. You want, and I don't care if you're filming me. Sergeant, fine. you listen. are required to protect my First Amendment so rights, listen. and you're failing to do so. Yeah, but they also have control of their property, and they can up to a, up to a point. They can trespass if they want to. So as soon as he's done. We're going to hand you the piece of paper and we're going to ask you to leave the place. And then we're heading to the police department. I, I will leave under threat of arrest. You said that I would be arrested if I yeah. went back in. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that and uh, we'll head to the police department next. Well, dude, you can whine, cry, and complain all you want. But my suggestion to you is actually do some research on these laws that you claim to exist. Because, well, dude, uh, I know you're so full of crap that it's coming out of your eyeballs. Which explains why you have such a shitty perception of how the laws work. So at any rate, uh, I got a bonus video for you guys. A, uh, a bit of an older video where a complete moron gets trespassed from a hospital in Florida. So let's enjoy that show, shall we? Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... We find ourselves at a hospital where a man claiming to be a two-time black belt karate expert is demanding to go see his mother in the hospital who he claims is dying, but then again later claims that she needs to get out of there. Kind of reminds me of Glenn Serio. I'll sweep your leg. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't act innocent now. What do you have to say? I'm out of the hospital. Yeah, let me read for a second. I'll stay right here. I have a right to be here six foot away. I honestly don't know when this was filmed because I haven't heard the social distancing six feet rule in a over a year, not since the pandemic, anyway. And he uploaded this on November 23rd of 2022, so just three days from the time I'm working on this video. Guess it took him a couple of years before he decided to upload it. You came back here today. I wasn't restricted, sir. He's lying. We asked him to leave. I came up to the security desk. He refused, he refused to leave. I'm left. Did I leave? I'm out here. I didn't threaten that. Sir, can I, can I it's all on first? film. Ah, that's the issue right there. You say you have it on film. You were filming inside of a hospital. You know you're not supposed to do that, right? Because of HIPAA laws? Won't leave the building like we're asking him to. He's making a disturbance in the lobby. Um, that's when we called you. No, I asked at him to which call. Point, at which point, he came and said he's going to wait out here for you guys to get here. But we've asked him to leave, and he won't leave. How you doing, sir? Hey, how are you? What, my name? Yeah. Uh, John Camillo. John, what's going on tonight? Uh, I already gave my license the last time. I, was here. I don't know. That's fine. Okay. okay. And, uh, Why don't we, Mr. Allen? Why do step over here, so we're not? Well, he, he's all right. Look, the other night. Look, right, just, you're all right. Just fill me in because I'm coming into this blind, so I'm, I'm not really sure what was going on over there. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. It was Saturday evening. I came in here and I complained that they were neglecting my mother. Okay. It was on her deathbed. Literally on her deathbed in there. The nurse didn't like it, so she got security to come up. At that point, I have two phones. At that point, I put my phone on the record. What was going on? Because an incident was going on. So the security guards come up and they see me with the phone, and they were, and it's all on film. They were grabbing me. One grabbed me, started pushing me down, pinning me down, and draped me over my mom, who's there on the freaking deathbed. I'm in there by myself with my mom. Does he want to hear this? Yeah, that's all you. Can Is that on? Yeah. Yep. You're being recorded. Good. Who was? How you doing? Hey, Joe, sir. All right. And then was um, the security guards were grabbing me. I said, call the police. And it's all on film. I said, call the police. I want to speak to them. You have no right to put your hands on me. You're filming and they're grabbing my phone and, and decking me down to my mom and all that. 
at that point, the police came. Okay. And the lady police came, and it's all on film. Oh, you just leave for the day and you can come back. She's telling me this on film. And you can come back to the hospital and all that. You just have to leave for the day. So then after a thing, I left. And yesterday, the doctor called me up. You can come back. Just mind your matters and come back and all that. Okay. And I said, okay. So I come back and I get a pass. I mean, I come back yesterday. I went up and see my mom and all that. And then I left. So I come back again. She was on her deathbed. I come back today to visit. And I get a pass and I go up. So while I was going up, I said, hey, who's the main security guard around here? I want to put a complaint in about the guy that attacked me. From there, they took my pass. You're not allowed up here or something. They look and all this created. Okay. That's the whole story. And then they said, leave and all that. And I said, well, let me talk to a supervisor or whatever. And then I asked them to call the police. Well, yeah, you weren't welcome in there because you keep taking your camera up there, which is against the HIPAA regulations. It is the job of the medical professionals to honor HIPAA and keep people like you out and from filming everything in sight in those hospitals. I'm just going to go ahead and jump on ahead because he tells the story uh, again to a couple other people. So why deal with the repeats? A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so they want you to leave, and they have apparently put you on their restrictive list. You are not allowed to visit anyone here. So. Okay, well, so who do I file a complaint against? With you? You'd have to basically reach out to Jefferson's For being attacked and all that kind of stuff? For what? Being attacked. You said you already filed a, a report with the officers over the weekend, correct? No. No? I got the video. Do you want to say it? We'll take a report for you for what happened over the weekend. You can sign a complaint against the security guard that did that through our court, but they have the right to refuse. To let you okay, I also have the right to sign. I have power of attorney over my dying mom. I have the right and legal work to sign her out. Absolutely. And they refuse to do it. Do you have an attorney that could? You could. Uh, I'm power. I have all the papers, so I, I can bring it. Power of attorney, but are you an attorney? No. So I would highly recommend gathering all that paperwork and reaching out to legal counsel and see how you can get your mother. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's. And, and I don't think it works that way, sir. To go. I don't think it works that way. I mean, I'll leave, but I mean. Well, uh, grab his information. Yeah. Give him a report for what he uh, what occurred over the weekend with regard to the assault and uh, give him the case number and. You want to say it or what? You can show Officer Blow. And then we'll have a report on file for that. And, and your officer, you and your female officer lied. She said, well, it's not a crime to lie. What's that about? Why is that? What? I'm not going to speak. She on, told me to come back. I'm not going to speak on what another officer Look, this hospital's a disaster, okay? It's a nightmare. And I complained about the treatment my mom was getting, right, and he so, told me to leave. So you got a license on information change? for what happened over the weekend. Yeah, I gave it to the lady. I'll give you your report number. That's fine. And then once he's completed, uh, I, I well, highly recommend the guard has no right to put. To, look, I understand what you're saying. I'm a black belt in two karates and jujitsu, and you can go check it out. This is the man behind the camera, John Camillo. Now it looks like he's apparently a bodybuilder at the very least, but that does not necessarily equate to martial arts experience. And I'm telling you, the guard could have got seriously hurt if I would have hit him back. Now, nobody has a right, and even these guys. You think these guys are going to take me on? They have no right to put their damn hands on me. They're not cops, and I didn't break any law. So don't be bull they bully me around, and I don't appreciate it. Oh, come on. A big, strong dude like you with apparently all that martial arts experience being bullied? Uh, that sounds a bit laughable to me. Because you're going to mess with, they're going to mess with the wrong person one day, and they're not going to take it, okay? They're not going to take yeah, it. All right. No, it's not okay, sir. I mean, no, you know. It's, okay. I'm just it's not okay what they do, man. They go around putting their hands on people like that. I mean, what is this? They're like bullies or something, man. When I didn't yeah, even do anything, though. No. I didn't threaten or doing anything. Just have right out of the uh, statement. No warrants, no arrests, no nothing. So. I mean, I was arrested, but I got it dismissed. I sued the state police. You can check that out, too. We just need your name. I sued the state police before. 
Camillo versus the state police look at it 15 years ago. I made law. Just because you uh, had your case dismissed doesn't mean it falls under a precedent. Well, I've had enough of this guy. If he would have done the simplest thing, like ask to see if it would have been okay to film a ho in a hospital, maybe none of this would have ever happened. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?